it's Emily with Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this solitary bee hotel specifically designed for mason bees. My design features a removable back panel and parchment paper inserts for better management. For this project, you'll need a block of wood that's at least three inches deep up to about six inches. My block here is about a little over four inches deep. Um, it, the block could be any size as long as you have enough space in between the holes that you're drilling. I would recommend three quarters of an inch to an inch apart. Uh, today the holes I'm going to be drilling are going to be three eighths of an inch. Um, they can be as small as a quarter inch in diameter. We are looking to attract mason bees and uh, female mason bees prefer holes that are just a little bit bigger than their bodies. For this project we'll also be using a removable back panel and I'll explain why we'll be doing this later in the video and we'll need a drill with an extra long drill bit. Let's get started! Plan where you'd like to drill your holes using a pencil and drill your holes straight through your wood block. lucky to have had access to a full shop, so I used a drill press to finish drilling the holes in my block of wood. That being said, this is unnecessary and can be completed with an extra long drill bit. The drill press didn't make it all the way through my block of wood, so here I am finishing up those holes. If you don't plan on adding removable inserts to your bee hotel, you can stop drilling at this point so that your holes don't go all the way through. So jumping ahead in the timeline a little bit, I've finished drilling the holes into our block of wood. The holes go all the way through and they're about an inch to a quarter inch apart. Um, I've done the unnecessary set step of sanding the front of it down, but you don't have to do that. Um, I will be actively managing these bees and what that means is not only is, am I creating habitat for them, I'm going to be removing the larva come fall via these parchment tubes that are going to be in, in these little holes um, through this removable back panel and I'm going to be managing for potential mites and parasitic wasps in hope to um, support the mason bee population. Let's take a break and talk about what will go on inside the bee hotel. The female mason bee lays her eggs in cells divided by mud partitions and plugs the entrance up with a mud stopper. The eggs are laid on a mound of pollen that become food for the larvae once they hatch. The larvae overwinter in their cocoons and hatch in the early spring, with the males first and the females second. The male mason bees emerge first and wait for the female mason bees to emerge from their nests. Their sole purpose is to mate and die shortly after. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of parchment paper that's about a little over an inch, um, that's slightly longer than the block of wood that you will be using, and twist it around a screwdriver or a pencil, slip them in the holes, so that it comes out the other side. Line it up to the entrance and then knock the pencil or screwdriver out and you'll have a bunch of tails sticking out the back and we'll deal with those in a second. These parchment tubes are also helpful so you don't have to re-drill the holes every season. You can just clean it out by removing the parchment and replacing them. So now, once your holes are all filled with the parchment, we are going to close off the ends by angling them down. And this is so if water gets between the wood block and your back panel, it won't go into the bees' nesting area. Now it's time to screw on your removable back panel. Mm -hmm. 
So after we've screwed on the back piece, we're going to attach a little piece of wood, just a scrap piece of wood to the top portion of the back. And this is because we want this, when it's hung up, to be angled down so that when it rains, water doesn't flow into uh, the nesting cavities. And there you have it. This is my finished bee hotel. I've added two loops on the side to hang up and I'll make sure to be hanging this in an unobstructed area in the sunlight facing southeast. As a bonus, here is a more simple bee hotel I made out of invasive Japanese knotweed stalks. Thanks for watching!